Oh, hi guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading the love in this big bad world of ours. Now, Joe kicked off in the last few minutes with Joey Barton again. Um, he was annoyed at Aluko, Aluko's performance as a pundit on ITV4 last night. Uh, the game between... Uh, Crystal Palace and Everton. This is what triggered him. Really well, you know, got some big wins. Uh, players like Dwight, uh, um, they're, they're playing really well. Now, basically, she couldn't remember the name of a player in what she was talking about. I think she was on about Dwight McNeil, but I can't be a hundred percent either. Um, then roll on until today. Early in the morning, and Joey Parton puts this tweet out. So, uh, Barton stated that both Aluko and Lucy West, who was in the commentary for that game, were the Fred and Rose West of football commentary. I kind of like the banter, really, but um, roll on a few hours now, and ITV Sport then put out this statement. Now, ITV Sport had to stop people commenting on the Twitter uh, about that statement. In my opinion... I think ITV Sport know that they got it. They got it wrong in a selection uh, of who to be in the studio yesterday, and they're using Joey Barton to deflect of the bad decision they made. But that's only my opinion. But Joey Barton then went right at ITV Sport with this tweet. Have a look at this. So guys, what do you think? Do you, are you on support of Joey Barton or on ITV with regarding this? Now, the previous video I'd done about this, now you, most of you would know I've only been in a country, uh, back in a country for about two months, so, uh, or two and a half months now. So, um, I wasn't really up to scratch with uh, this uh, debate, but I've educated myself and I've seen what's uh, been going on. And it's quite sad, really. In my opinion, the only way forward would be men pundits and commentators on, on the man's game, women pundits and commentators on the women's game. Listen, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm, what, 45 years old now? And even at 45 years old, I still think I'd, I'd probably I'd break into that English women's team. Anyway, until next time, adios, bye-bye.